Okay, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today it's the final video in this uh, Mid Journey Art and Product Photography. I will link to the first video because it's kind of important that you look at the first one, then the second, and this is the last part. And in this part, I will show you how I put together the AI arts and the products that we shot two bottles of gin. So let's start with the first one and that's the gin bottle out in the forest. Let's go into Photoshop. The first layer we have down here is the original Mid Journey creation and then I needed to retouch out a bit of this bottle because uh, the bottle that we shot was a bit smaller not so tall and it doesn't have to be that perfect because it's only the top here that is important. So this is the background we will work with. Then you see down here it's moving a bit. I didn't like that this stone was, it felt it was like dead center under the bottle. So I just dragged the whole scene. And what do we have here? Yes, here we have the bottle. Here's the first shot. And then we have the second shot with the black cards. Um, we place it as close as possible, so we will get rid of this um, rim light. We place the card to get a dark edge on this side. Okay, now we have the third image that we took, and that was the gobo light for the label. And uh, it ended up not being this image that we used. We tried out many different ones, softer ones. This is a bit harsh, and I felt mm -mm, this doesn't go along with the style, so I ended up using a softer one. We will come to that later. So, here we have the bottle. And um, there is a little, a little mask down here. And that's for the, all the, if we zoom in, and that's for all the grass. I try to make it as nice as possible. You see there, I'm trying to make it look as realistic as possible. Then we have a cleanup layer. I just cleaned up as much as I could. Then we have the sun rays. And uh, it's fun to add some sun rays. And that is just a brush. And then we have the cork. It ended up being a bit uh, green, I felt. So I put on a solid color layer, beige. And then we have a bunch of uh, adjustment layers. And this is for the color balance, I would say. The first one, more yellow to the bright parts and a bit bluish on the, in the shadows. And then we have a curves layer. There's even more, a bit of a S curve, very, very soft S curve to add a bit of contrast to the whole scene. Oh yes, also I went into the blue channel and drag this down a lot to get some warmth in the, the bright tones, you know. Then, use saturation layer before the yellows. I took that down so it's not so close to green. And then we have a dodge and burn layer. And if the light coming from back it should not be that bright, so I darkened down that part just a tiny bit. Then I added green to the whole scene. And then I have this grass I put in front so it make it more a bit more realistic. And then we have the label. I added first the original label without any light and I can feel this looks more realistic because there's really no light coming from this direction. So this is uh, probably something I will go with. But now when we did this gobo thing I picked another one and that's this layer. But first I killed all the color on the label to make it white with this hue saturation layer, saturation all the way down. And then I took in this gobo and that was just a bit of light on the on the name here. And what is this? I brighten it up, it looks like, yes. And a bit more clean up. And what do we have next? The final stuff, yes. If we zoom in, you see on this side, this uh, dark edge here goes very nicely up here but then it gets getting wider down here when you're making the photo very small it feels very obvious that it goes like so i just extended 
so it will go all the way down there. Top highlight, yes, I added a bit more because when we started out, we had much more on the top here, like from the sky, if you will. So I brightened that part up a bit. Then we have another curse layer. I think it's the final touches, a bit more brightness. And what is this? Hue saturation. Yes, it's this part. In the center here, it's very, very close to green. And I can't stand when yellow is close to green. Make it yellow or make it green. So I had to go in to the yellow. I took it down minus seven actually. And now it's more like yellow in the center. And I feel it's actually a bit softer and nicer. And this is the final shot. We can take a look before and after. So let's go to the other bottle. And here we have 34 layers. And this is the mid journey image. And then I took away everything here. It's just a content aware fill and the clone stamp. So we can fit this bottle in. And what do we have here? Light play, it says. Yes, I took this light play and moved it out a bit so it will fit our bottle. And then we have color fill layer with blue, the same blue as the, the bottle. And then we have the, the bottle cut out. This is just a backup. Yes, this is the final cut out bottle with the pen tool. Make a selection, cut it out. And this is the shadow for the bottle. You see, there is a shadow on this side. And this, this is the hardest part to make this look realistic. So I just added the shadow there. What else? Curves. Yes, I took down the contrast. You see, I'm lifting up the blacks and also the brightness to come closer to the scene because uh, the mid-journey image had so little contrast. So I had to take away the contrast of our bottle. I also took down the saturation on the bottle. Mid-journey background will look the same as the bottle. Cleaning. There's some cleaning going on. Color balance. Yes, now I'm adding blue in the midtones and in the shadows probably. Yes. So I'm adding a lot of blue to the whole scene. And then we have selective color. These glasses will become more red and also on the surface here. And then I have a green boost for the leaves in the glasses. I think they look too yellow and also this lime fruit red light boost yes i'm boosting this because i think this looks so nice so i'm boosting them up a bit and then we have a hue saturation again yes it's up here for this and what do we have here back glass desaturated yes it's this one i took down the blue inside that glass a bit and label saturation boost a bit of saturation here and here we have i took a copy of this so this is where we are now, this is no change. But the one on top here is what I made in camera raw filter. And we take a look. It's a lot more um, yellow in the highlights. So what I do, I just smack all these layers together and then I go into camera raw filter. I add a bit of yellow in the highlights. I kind of like this style for the moment, tomorrow. I will hate it, probably. So something like this I did in the camera raw. And here it is. And glass retouching. Yes, this is a bit weird. You see, this glass looks a bit immediately can do this. And then I felt I had to fix it. So I took it away. And back wheel fix. Yes, I extended this a bit. And back wheel fix again. Yes, I took away this part also. Minor fix, darken down there, brighten up the label. And then we have a curves layer. If you go into the blue channel, the label I felt was too yellow. So I made it a bit more neutral. Color balance too. Again, yes. You, you see minor fixes, you know. If you go away and then you come back and you feel like, well, maybe it should be a bit more cyan and blue 
in the highlights or something or in this case a bit more yellow in the highlights so i'm just tweaking with the color balance playing around you know highlights and and uh, shadows and so on blue add bottle left blue add bottle left yes i think it's this bottle a bit more blue glass fix yes it's up here darken that down a bit hue saturation again i took away the blue a bit on this bottle hue saturation again it's some minor fixes here minor fix again and it's this i took away this uh, glass shadow bottle i darkened a bit more down here and there we are super cool and i would like to thank oliver for coming here from salzburg austria and that he shared his mid journey journey and um, if you have any questions just leave a comment below and i will answer everything as always okay thank you for watching if you're not subscribed please subscribe and please like the video it makes a huge difference you know and uh, thanks to all the members of supporters if you like to join click the join button below or jump over to patreon okay supporting this channel so i hope you enjoy this uh, mini series of three videos how you can create your ai images backgrounds and then you add your real photography products into it i found it very 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 interesting okay thank you for watching and as always i will see you next <laughs>